I'm live now and was a while ago and probably will be in a minute. Welcome <laughs> to In a Perfect World. Hi, Flash. Hello, Vincent. How are you and, this evening? Uh, wonderful. It's uh, lunchtime right here, midday in the Ozarks. And we got Moosey up uh, all covered in cold weather. Way up yeah, yonder. it's chilly here today. I'm kidnapping. And, I'm kidnapping a group this this evening for the people in the in a perfect 19. world. Nineteen point nine degrees. And a, with a re weather report. <laughs> That's not that. Cold. Did anyone say now? Like we're on? Yeah. Now. Time ago. Now. Oh, I mean the the IRC. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Say say this word N O W. Let me hear your pronunciation. N O W. Say this yeah. word. Blah, say blah, that word. Blah. What? Word? Now. 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 <laughs> okay, where are we at, Vincent? And what are we doing here? And <laughs> we're saying Heidi, hi. We're here at RealLibertyMedia.com, the R L M Radio dot X Y Z. Uh, come say a, a howdy and a shout out, and jump into chat and join along as uh, we uh, contrast the occupation in a perfect world. And where here we are, where you don't get a Grateful Dead song to start the show out with, you get us chitter chattering about if we're live <laughs> or not. Right, what is much better sometimes. Well, we don't have to license, you know. Argue Nothing wrong with Grateful Dead. It. Yeah, what what's in a word after all? Okay. Right. I didn't say there was anything wrong. I said instead okay. of a musical interlude, they got us right. bantering. We about. just start chatting right away. <laughs> and we, 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 and we have. We have flashes arguing with themselves, Lucy. Yeah. As, <laughs> as in a perfect world. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. My, now he's self doubting. He's used to doing the show by himself. I so know. Now he's got two of us. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. I, I did get spoiled doing the, the yeah. solo bit. Yeah. But it was fun. <clears throat> I enjoyed that. Got a chance to clear my dork mind of all the cobwebs. <laughs> Did you use an uh, uh, an expectorant? No. <laughs> no. I just talked for a little while and said stuff. Yep. Well, there's people in the world, you know what their biggest problem is? Problem? Yeah. They think they know something. <laughs> Okay. I used to think I knew shit until I found out that all the shit that I knew was a bunch of shit. Didn't wasn't even true. Went holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fucked. <laughs> and the grown ups said, Nay unto you, heathen scum, don't talk like that amongst your elders. And I said, I'm being screwed like this and you guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, anyway. Now you can get them cheap now. now here we uh, are online. Yeah, it's like the uh, <laughs> cyber cyber cell after Black Friday deal. So yeah, yeah. Load up now. Get yeah. them while you can. Moose's yep. Moose's little problem with the vehicle reminded me of a of an accident I was in. One accident in my whole life. I have forgotten yeah. about it because it was so brief and insignificant that when you hear what happened, it won't. You'll understand. Okay. I'm, okay. in a, I'm in a van with another guy driving. He's driving the van. I'm in the passenger side. We're driving down Lakewood Boulevard, and all of a sudden, something <clears throat> smashed into the windshield <clears throat> and cracked it. <clears throat> we heard it hit. Yeah. So it turned out to be a tennis ball or some kind of ball. So like yourself, he's an insured, <clears throat> licensed driver. And, and, yeah. you know, and he gets on the phone and says, hey just had a baseball hit my windshield and yeah. you guys got to fix it. So they did. But that oh. was in 1978. <laughs> right. And this is what I've been trying to say is I've been away from that life for 10, maybe 10 or 12 years already, plus leaving the country. Because the last five, I was in Jacksonville. Didn't did go you, anywhere, uh, just little travels. Did you take the high road or the low road? No. To Scotland? <laughs> Neither. Took an airplane. Aye. Yeah. You, my arms would have never made that trip. <laughs> it's a long trip, too. Yeah. But I've made that thing, what, four times, I think. 
I've been across the water. So apparently, um, they have created the world's first cannabis chromosome map. And they found out that THC and CBD, the active substances produced by cannabis, appeared to due to ancient colonization of the plant's genome by viruses. So, Those I'm just are... saying that's what they said. I'm not saying it's true. You know, apparently these researchers, whoever they are, have determined this. Um, and this is from today, so... Gene, uh, Gene Splicens used uh, they use uh, uh, bacteria and viruses and so forth to mm -hmm. uh, facilitate that on uh, cheating nature in a way, trying to manipulate it and, and dominate instead of working with. I, I, I was talking about that, you know, the nature of man. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess they're saying so that. It, I mean, it happened naturally. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Uh, that no. that's uh, that's that's a part of who we are. I I think yeah. the. Uh, the cannabis plant was probably closely uh, related to the to the tree of life. Right. So there's so so much in in the cannabis plant that. Uh, oh yeah, big time. It's been a medicine. It's been used as a medicine for a very very long time. Well, I think we oh. should celebrate. And it's it's about time. I'm already a b ahead of you. Good job. I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> I did, I'm just I just talk funny. <laughs> up, up, pass. I'm telling you, what would and, you what would you do without it? You'd have to you'd have to live in the real world with real people yeah. being bored out of your freaking nut because you you know what you know and they watch TV. Holy you think, shit! What a difference. You think you would find something else? Would you? Is there another type of plant you might come to smoke or? Uh, other plant to ingest or would you drink more or resort to narcotics or I mean for me with uh, just smoking weed is uh, very therapeutic and a lot of pain yeah. relief in it yeah for sure yeah and I, gave up, uh, I gave up I gave up pharmaceutical several years ago it's been quite a few years since I've been to a doctor now yeah but plants exist where they exist for reasons beyond yeah. Beyond what you're going to learn in a book written by some guy that has a theory because, you know, he got a doctorate at some university because he blew the guy's cat. But we won't I, talk I eat about poisonous that. plants. I eat poisonous See? plants is cured. Yeah. There you go. And you're, as wow. you do it, your body builds up a, a, an immunity. So how rats survive? Well, they claim they're poisonous. There, There's uh, different compounds and there's uh and, and synthesized compounds there's a big difference it's like a difference between a positive and a negative between the natural if you're looking at some of the the cyanides and uh so forth in, in, that occur naturally within uh say like uh an apricot seed uh, apricot seed looks kind of the pit kind of looks like a an almond you crack it open and that, that right there is uh i've shown to correct uh, uh causes of uh, cancer that's why it's illegal to make them yeah and it's claimed to be a poison yeah so that you can't grow them anymore in the united states of america you well, have lucky a, americans they'd have a hard time stopping apricot production but uh i thought know, they, they might banned it they ban everything whatever gets banned in yeah, america gets banned they they probably banded uh or banned the uh concentration of uh to, to extracts or anything like that they that's where they they come in and take take hold with uh, legal words as <laughs> as opposed to as hal talks about it's yeah, a, a plant on the land and it's yeah. uh, in production and it's outside of commerce and not to be regulated so or, uh, you control the population with a lot of stupid bullshit that's not true and then you can pretty right. much walk all over the fuckers and they they don't know they're being fucking walked over and that's how it works. You have the actually you have the fucking support of the very people you're abusing the most. And the people that are getting abused the most are being abused in their own ignorance. It's not their fault. You know, you can't call them names over it. It's deep rooted shit goes back a long way. You yep. know, it's like just as difficult it's gonna be to 
convince me there's 28 genders. There's people <laughs> alive right now that are making movies and shit and saying things like, I'm sure glad I wasn't alive when people were so negative or when they were so whatever we call each other names, racist, shit like that. Wow, what a bunch of pussies we live among. What happened to people? You know? What do you think, uh, what would you be called if uh, if you was thinking what people might be thinking to call you? In what sense of that? I Whatever don't really sense. What, how, how would people, pers uh, another person perceive you? What what label would they try to bestow, bestow upon you? Here? You. Canadian Anywhere. or American, I suppose. would be about as far as it goes. And what about people listening? What about oh. hands? He showed up there, Jay Dredd. Mm. Oh, how Jay, would he? How would he what? He, he would have a whole different uh, idea on how, how to uh, how to perceive the uh, occupation. Yeah, but he's not in there right now. Other people, oh, he other people's opinion of what they're looking at is useless. It's just that an opinion it means nothing. Yeah, opinion. It that's right. Nothing to opinion. do with what they see. They just that's what they're seeing. For so their what? perception. And a lot right. of times they're trapped in it. Ain't they? Well, are you not capable of being w more than one person in your yearly life? You know, where you would behave a certain way and these situations come up and then something else comes up and you're a little different than normal. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, how you respond is definitely... Uh, no one size fits situation. all. Yeah, uh, well, you know. They're, the only constant is Cirque. Everything else is fluid. But not Cirque. <clears throat> okay. I was making a point <clears throat> there so you'd have something to commend back with, but you didn't. So. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. Well, because you know, you know me and her are online through the internet world and whatnot, so I figured using her as an example of something you're familiar with. Well... You know, we've been never been uh, within physical face-to-face -face distance, but we spend a lot of time uh, every morning on uh, I Skype. Know, talking, so, yeah, yeah, we all this shit each, out. yeah, we got to know each. Yeah, we got to know each other pretty good. So that's why I, I give you allowances because we're friends, and oh. that's that's uh, that's how we get along. We give one another allowances in our interaction, right? Oh that's yeah, the, how, the lack of judging the other guy's living style. Oh, in, I judge in a negative light. Oh, I judge. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but I judge you never everything. you never tell me in Cirque bad stuff. You always have nice shit to say to us. Yeah. But I'm just so. saying, so that, you know, you, you get what you put out. There Certainly. You go. Well, Certainly. some people's personal opinions about worldviews should be put in a jar and shoved under a magnet, you know, under <laughs> under a magnet and squashed. But, well, anyway, that's the way I see it. <laughs> It's it gets to be a nasty world some at some points in conversation with people because a political idea that they have is so fucking perverted and they don't have a clue of this. They, they're looking at you telling them that thinking you're insane because they're so you know, indoctrinated into needing it so deeply. Oh, I got to have my state. What would I do without it? We'd be in chaos. And when you ask a question, what do you have around you in the first place that's so much better than chaos? <laughs> can I, you, I, I don't know. I don't think you, trading for chaos is the uh, solution either. And that's uh, a lot of people are, are kind of rooting for chaos in this world. And where? chaos, chaos where? is used as a, a motivator and a manipulator and the fear of it. And then they introduce it and then you have a problem, uh, reaction, solution. Oh, like right? your invasion? Any of this stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, and everybody's yeah. ready to jump on in, in the uh, uh, as far as the uh, the media. Mainstream like and alter, uh, alternate. Uh, alternative to it's a good mainstream. show it's my favorite show on the air right now the mm. um california's the well they got the fires out apparently in california yeah but they got a a new threat at the southern border yeah that's yeah always chaos threat. wow always the use of chaos i was right? just getting used to the old one and now i got a new one to learn about 
Don't worry. You can forget that one pretty soon. There'll be something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what will it be? Not where I live. Tell you that. You and your expectations, mister. Yeah, no, I have to travel two hours to civilization to go have a, a problem with people. Well, all I can tell you is don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> I know y'all got wooden shoes over there, so. No, I think that's um, the Dutch. Yeah. Well, De Dutch, Denmark, close enough. Dutch, Dane. Oh, yeah. It's all the same. Two countries yeah. away. It's uh -huh. just like calling you in Arkansas the same as a Californian. Well, almost, but not quite. Well, see, we'll play these fucking uh, little games with names, state names. Right, see. Property. And if, it's if all I was, a fucking joke. Hey, if I was in England, would they call me a Yank and me being a Southerner and all? <laughs> My wife calls you a Yank now, you dipshit. See, see what I mean? Saying? She calls all yeah. Americans Yankees. That's what I mean. If you're from Mississippi... My wife says you're a Yankee, you mutt blood. Y'all got windmills that churn butter too. Uh, here. I don't I don't know what they got here. I don't care what they got here. Didn't come here for the country. Dykes. Could have been any fucking where for all I cared. Had nothing to do with the, the country at all. That's why I don't That's care. That's a pretty about big area. Have you explored any much? I know you no, went to no, Amsterdam no, no. and no. went to Freetown. No, Freetown is in. It's right next to Copenhagen, and there, you can walk. You're it, walking through in Copenhagen. You step into Freetown. Oh so yeah. There you are. Yeah. It's oh, there. they just hijacked part of the city. No, what they did was they took control of an abandoned military base and squatted it. Ah, like they did at the Salton Sea in in, 19, in 1970, right? And they've been yeah. there ever since. Nobody wanted it, so they took it. Right. That's what's uh, that's what happened out and, there in California. And through you know about, the but through you know the years, that? the government has tried to get them involved in the government, mm -hmm. in, in financial matters, and then the people have held out, out and won't do it. Because once you're doing commerce with them, then you're admiralty court material. There you go. Mm -hmm. Don't commerce. sign the fucking contract. Don't do mm -hmm. any fucking business where you need to. Yeah, be a little bit smart. I guess is the key to that because it's still running. Now, I don't go there no more, but I could. I could change my mind springtime and decide, I want to go hang out in Freetown again. Who knows? You could get a job planting tulips. Uh, fuck, I can, you idiot. Kind of. Are you on drugs, son? Yes. Have you been smoking? <laughs> I got to go. Ah! Grimner beat me. You been smoking the devil's lettuce by any chance, boy? Yeah. You sound like you're all hopped up on marijuana. Probably I almost a got that done. Good shot, Grimner. You're a threat to society, boy. Thank you. Thank you hey, very much. You know what? I'd sure like to know this. is What is the result of pot that everybody is so fucking terrified over that it's been against the law to use it, and now they're... They're so fucking argumentative. They won't just take this off the schedule as a narcotic. I just think pull it racist. off, right? Now I they want to. They want to drop it down to a five. Yeah, what? Just, yeah. what it's, we, it smells like skunk. The skunk's yeah. black and white. You can't have that. It's, it's people. Just, it's I don't think people are as fearful of it as you think they are. It's been illegal because, for a hundred years. Okay? Right, but that's so, not yeah, because people are afraid of it. Then why? Because people are still doing it. Well, why was it illegal it's then if they weren't afraid of it? It's because of big pharma that wants to, they want people on their shit instead of using something natural. So yeah, they've spent a lot of money lobbying it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. If they weren't afraid of pot, they would have never went Who's to they, the pharmacy. Though? The public. The people that the use The public isn't afraid of it. Not the all the public. public. The I public has they, been made to be afraid of it. There might be some people out there that are afraid of it. I, yeah. But I think for the most part, unless you're a fucking idiot, you know how harmless weed is. Yeah, we got a and half a century. You should know that it's beneficial. We've got a I half mean, a century that, it, you know. It, that's common sense. The reason why it's been illegal for so long is because of big pharma. And they want to try to... Make you. They want you to use synthetic crap that they've made. 
that they make money off of. I think it all uh, comes down to freaking money. Always, yeah, uh, it always comes down to money. And how to how do you, how are you going to keep control with uh, when the shift comes? Because over the the last fifty years, there's a lot of people that have uh, been alive to to see and to say that uh, wow, you know, we didn't cause no big problems, right. like they said. Right. So. People are learning that it's beneficial. I mean, for crying out loud, I was at Thanksgiving, right? My mom had to come up because there's, you know, she had to come see her sister or whatever. But anyway, she's like, oh, I have CBD oil. I'm like, you do? She's like, yeah. I mean, okay. It's like, it's, it's, it's not like it's weird anymore. People are being, becoming educated about it. The thing that's holding it back is, like I said, the big pharma grasp on it. That, they, or that you know, they, they want to control it. If, if, if it's going to become legal... They want their piece of it, too. It's like, screw them. Their yeah, shit's bad for you. I mean, Lawyers, doctors, uh, all these yeah, uh, it, it, people are, are using it and saying, you know, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we all know the reasons why. Well, for one thing, it should have never been made illegal. It never have been on the same schedule as freaking heroin and cocaine. I mean, you know what you I mean? You should be able to go to the doctor and get heroin and cocaine, too. Right. And, and marijuana. I mean, Coca-Cola used to have actual cocaine in it. That's how it got its name. Right? Yeah. And that, that of course, led to a lot of great songs from Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like yeah, to buy so them. Some coke and have a big party. You know, it's just other other natural things that are beneficial for people, like dandelions, for instance. All right, those have been we've been trained and told that that's a weed. That if you have them in your yard, you need to fucking get rid of them. You know, poison them, kill them, pick them out, and because they're, they're no good, they're a weed. You know what? That is not true. Dandelions are very beneficial plants for humans. And you can make wine out of it. You can eat the leaves. They're very, very good for you. The dandelion root is like the best part of the plant for you. But they don't <coughs> tell you that. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to do any, be natural at all. So they, they teach us to, I mean, my dad used to tell me to go out in the yard and every day, dandelion that I picked that had the root on it, he'd give me like a nickel for it or something. You know, because he was he wanted the perfect lawn. And you can't have dandelions on a perfect lawn. Right? I uh, I picked, uh, I was collecting some dandelion scenes one time and the guy said, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to put these in my yard. And he said, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a beneficial, and that's just one of many, you know, it's not just cannabis, not just dandelions, but there's a zillion other plants out there that we've been told are weeds and are not beneficial at all. It's it's the same old lies. It's the same tactics. That's right. And I, I just disagree with Flash saying that people are afraid of weed, because that is just not the case. Some people are. Some are, but not like it was, in, you know, before. Right. People are becoming more and more educated about it. I mean, you know, it helps people that have epilepsy. You know, none of the, a lot of the big pharma meds that they produce for that disorder don't work. But CBD oil or cannabis does. So people in non-legal states have had to up and move uh, to legal states because they want to do the best that they can for their family member that needs it, that needs the correct medicine, and it happens to be cannabis. It's kind of sad. I mean, it's sad. It's messed up. I'm sitting here in this non-legal state, but literally the next state over from me, it is. It's legal. 
on both sides of me, the medical marijuana in Minnesota and then on Michigan, they just they just uh, have they have recreational now. Yeah, it is, they made it legal here for medical a couple of years ago, and they still don't have uh, dispensaries or any growing yet. That's the same as it is in Minnesota. Yeah, and then they charge, I understand, like uh, a couple hundred bucks a year, I guess, for the license, and then they got to pay a, a doctor to get the prescription, and, right. and I guess you got to go yeah. buy it in some dispensary that will probably be far away. Now in Arizona, if you're like 25 miles away from a dispensary, you can grow your own, I think, 14 or plants or See, something like that. See, the problem with it being quote-unquote legal is that they can tell you what you can and cannot do. They can tell it, still tell us what we can. Oh, yeah, it's legal, but you can't grow your own plants. Yeah. It's like, what? Right. And you can't sell it. You have to, if you do grow it, it can be for your own personal use. It can't you can't be a distributor of it, which is bullshit. You know, it's a freaking plant. There should be no regulations at all. Like Grimm and Rob are saying, it should never even been on any schedule. There should never even been a schedule. I believe there ought to be a regular schedule. And uh, <laughs> always a 420. We missed the 420 by five minutes. So we did. 420. Uh, I didn't do that quick. App, well, I didn't either, but I I failed to announce it. That's my general. That's word. all right. It's 420 somewhere. Somewhere. And it, and it doesn't even have to be at 20 minutes after the hour. Right. No, it doesn't. So it's just it's it's insanity. I mean. It's a good thing and a bad thing that they're like quote unquote legalizing it. You know, there's good and bad with it. But it's just frustrating. <sighs> that it, it it's something that shouldn't it, it's a simple thing. It's a plant. It's a very beneficial plant, but it's still a plant. Always four twenty well, it's always four twenty in my book, really. <laughs> But whatever. What do we do to Flash? Did we? Uh, I don't know. He's he's not. He's, he's, he's copying and pasting. There he is. Uh, no, sleep. What? Wake up. Why? Wake, wake, wakey, wakey. <laughs> but, but it's early. I want ten more minutes, mom. <laughs> what? Oh, I I forgot what song I was singing there. Yeah. Gruber said that's not what the song was about. Well, Grim was asking me a question, and I was answering him. I was somewhere else. But I mean, <laughs> i i made i I made an observation based on my knowledge of history. It got shut down, so I figured, hey, wait a minute. Okay, you see it different. That's a different story, but. No, people were bullied and browbeaten and lied to and threatened and, and put in jail over this shit yep. for 80 fucking years. And yep. if that isn't terrifying to you, I don't know what is. But well, that fact, it, it's not really terrifying. It's just wrong. I, w I sure as fuck didn't ever want to go to jail for smoking a plant. Ha, look at When I was a kid, they... They got me when I was like 14 once, and it was a fluke, and it was I was with an adult. It was a weird story, but the cops wanted to blame me and, and all this shit, but I got out of it because I was young, got lucky. But as an adult, no. But I didn't, I've always been fucked with about the threat of government and fucking law because I smoke a flower. There's my crime. And other people that don't smoke this flower or don't even give a fuck about it one way or the other, but want to make money off it, interfere with smoking the flower. And it's all yep. fear-based. All of it. That's the way I see it. You don't have to see it the way I see it. It's just, you know, there's other reasons for the problem. But it was fear-based from the gate when asshole Slinger went to Congress yep. and swore to Congress he smoked a marijuana cigarette and turned into a bat. Well, now, if that's not fear-mongering, will you please tell me what you call that? See, what happened was this uh, prohibition was ending, 
and they had all this big ag agency built up with, uh, you know, nowhere to go. So, hey, you got to have something. Think of the children. Moms and dads would have been suffering because no one was there to smash in doors and beat people's heads in for smoking dope. Hey, who was the guy from uh, Twilight Zone? Rod Steiger, right? Is that right? No, or Rod Serling. Serling, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, Rod Serling from Rob. Sterling. Can you do? Sterling, thank you. Can no, you do not... Serling with Serling? You. Yeah, him. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> guy. You know. Can you do his voice, the Flash? No, I don't no? think so. Well, you you got to. Can you do Rob's voice? Rob works. No, Rob works. Well, got to quote him. Look, it's perfect. It's perfect. Imagine, if you will, a universe where it's always 420. <laughs> Imagine, if you will. Quote of the week. I can't do a <laughs> patient. I can just say. <laughs> in a perfect world. And that's what I've been trying to claim for a long time on the radio, but it's like fantasy land to people. <laughs> I, live, I live in 420 land. That's the core of my happiness is all my, you know, all my physical needs are met through the comforts of plants and uh, additives, baking soda, natural shit. I'm going to outlive all you fucking people. And <laughs> and I'm already, God, I got a great head start on you too. But I'll be here after the rats are gone. Rats. Big hairy hey, rats. Hey, did you know that a, a, five, a seven... Five to seven pound rat can fit through the, a hole the size of a quarter. Yeah. 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 The bones collapse, right? This is how these fu these things survive, right? And when when the uh, city tries to poison them, the offspring are designed with an immunity to the poison that killed their the older one. So as the as the litters go, the, the poison doesn't work on them. They outlive yeah. it and they outlive it's part of that miracles of life shit, man. There's so much go that goes on in, in just regular life that we don't fuck with that you would think people would not trust the judgment of a religious or a political group to, to judge and decide what food or what products you can put into your own body. What business is it of government? in the first place to involve yourself in your life. Let me interrupt for a moment. Hey, Moosey, do me a favor. Type in uh, Rod Sterling's name right there and make Sterling. it a hashtag. Whatever. Type it in there right and put <laughs> it a hashtag. And uh, Grimner, uh, <laughs> add, add that. If you're doing the blog, let's add, yeah, add that from Rob Works right Priceless. there. Priceless. Yeah, yeah. What, what Vinny put, typed in. Yeah, but Rob, yeah, yeah that's a Rob Works. Yes, sir. You got it. Rod well, Sterling Silver. Sterling. <laughs> what a dork. You say that on purpose. Prick. Stop it. You're, you're making my tumor bleed. Come on, Vinny. We got it. I'm bro. glad to help. We got a, a little bit of a show to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's biology right there. Chloe said she didn't know much biology. And I said, uh, well, I kind of shortened it, but. Yeah, mm. I, I know politics a little bit. Well, isn't it strange, though, that we, we all go through the same uh, road thing on the state, and we come out at different places at the end? Show me yours, Sounds, and I'll show you mine. Well, um, I'm against state, but my wife isn't, so I... Well, do you, would I you compromise. like to make that your statement, your state statement? <laughs> my state statement is... Um, if things got out of pocket, we wouldn't be here. So uh, their state holds their end of the bargain up for the money they charge. You know, consider the state of business, right? And you're you're traveling to this place, and that's their business is you're going to pay to eat and drink and, you know, smoke and pay for a place to stay and all the shit you can do. So, Hey, you could mute the fucking thing when you cough. Did I did? Slop. Did I? No, you didn't. Am I not uh, muted? Am I right muted now? No, no. You're, you're, I'm muted. I'm muted. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to uh, mute. Now I'm not muted. Hold on. Yeah, anyway. Now I'm not. Right? 
<laughs> oh my God! <laughs> no, he's not muted. He thinks he's muted. <laughs> am, I, am I not muted? <laughs> oh my word! Hello. Uh, How about now? This is going to be the train wreck of all Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Mm. Yes. You? Yes. Is this yes. not muting me? It's, it I got it on. You. No. I'm on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. My mute button doesn't work. What the? I switch. What yeah, the well, hell, man? Irrelevant. Oh. Irrelevant oh, papers. I, from, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Yes. Yeah. Very irrelevant. Nice. Irrelevant Thank papers you. from dead hey. people didn't go anywhere. All right. And we'll kill that. Cut he that out. Seem to like its insanity, but there's good and bad with it. <laughs> hey, wonder why this mic is Yeah. Oh yeah, he said good answer, but I don't. I don't know if he's talking to you or me. Oh, that was annoying. Was that? No. <laughs> wow, check, Vinny's check, losing check, it. Check, uh, check. One two one two. Uh, Twelve thirty-five <laughs> p.m. Oh, Zarkian time. What Mark. are you doing? <laughs> Man, We're did you get? Cards. Did you loosen the tape and get free again? <laughs> God damn it! Good, good Caucasian help is so hard to find. What you talking so, about? Uh, you white boy. <laughs> Why did you tell me my moot um, didn't uh, mic up? We did about fifteen times, and you just kept blowing your nose anyway. Well, I couldn't understand. Well, he thought he was muted. He did. He, he thought maybe, he was muted. He wasn't. Maybe if you could move the mic away from your nose, <clears throat> we wouldn't be feeling the fucking tremor aftershocks of it now <laughs> in Denmark. The roof let, me, shaking, let me try this Vinny. one. <laughs> <laughs> my house is shaking, Vinny. My, my wife is screaming upstairs. <laughs> What's going? What are you doing to those poor people on the radio tonight? <laughs> can Can you play a trumpet? Like without, you know, just like not like air guitar, <laughs> but actually make noise. No, you know, I cannot just do don't that. Purse your lips why out would, like her. Why no, would I, want I don't, to do that? No, I'm not going to even attempt that. Uh oh. Thank you, Grimner. That's not Grimner. No. He told me stuff. And you, by the way, Moosey, you, yeah. you, you, you don't want to help me. Here, I'll put this uh, guy. This uh, this Goldstein fellow, uh, Rod, uh, his name, and type it into the chat for me, please. The Twilight guy, do Twilight. Yeah, guy. yeah, yeah, Goldstein. No, Rod Surly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a bar of Sterling, then it is. Uh, Not you. Sterling, Surly. <laughs> Sterling, I ain't Surly, Surly. So yeah. <laughs> Flashies. He has to go get his panties unwadded. I, he'll be back in a moment, folks. Stay tuned. As, Is that what he said? No. Oh. I'm just, no, that's just I'm Vinny interpreting. Running. I'm Vinny. interpreting his his uh, uh Vinny name. Vinny is my he's my stand in Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> because Hansel refuses to come to the radio, but Vinny comes in his place. Oh yes, <laughs> and and he does an excellent job of being Hansel when he's on the radio with me. <laughs> My hat is off to you, sir. You are you, a, uh, you need a to keep your better goat Hansel than I. Closer, keep your goat to close. My goat. Yes. No, I don't have a goat. No. What would I do with a goat? <sighs> I'm rural, but I'm not that rural. The the farms are a couple <laughs> miles down the road. They got livestock and stuff, you know, like cows and horses. I am laughing at Grimner. He says I'm a virtuoso. I'm the butt trumpet. I'm the butt and trumpet. I, yes, the dot poop, the man. <laughs> and I break bad, baby. That's right. Das Puter, ya. That's it, folks. You heard it here first on In a Perfect World with me, Flash. Being perfect as usual. Can you do the, the donkey on uh, Shrek? No, yeah, that would be a good voice to do, though. Donkey's funny as hell. I know you've seen a house fly, but, but you never saw a donkey fly. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you okay. must be a girl dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a All beautiful right. smile. I got a subject. I got a subject. You're going to have a hard time beating up. Donkey. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, donkey and girl dragons. <laughs> Hello? We hear Hello. you. Go for Moosey. All right. So, you, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but um, a polio, polio-like disease is, has spread to 31 states. Officials confirm 116 cases of the mystery illness, which causes paralysis. And they're saying it's acute, flaccid myelitis, causes flu-like symptoms, and can lead to lifelong paralysis. So or if, if they have a name for it, it's not a mystery illness. Well, but this is weird. I don't know. It's strange. It's a strange one. But... The mysterious, rare, polio-like disease blighting the U.S. has now spread to 31 states, sickening at least 116 children. And yet officials still have no idea what causes it, nor how to treat or prevent it. So just, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about that or not, but it's kind of weird. And there's the link that I was using. It's a Daily Mail link, but I'm sure there's other places that have stories on this. But then they show a map there, how many people, children apparently. The average age of patients is four. It is believed to be caused by a combination of viruses, and children usually first show signs of a fever or a cough for three to 10 days. But after the, the illness, AFM can suddenly leave people paralyzed for life or even end up fatal. Um, I don't know, but do you think vaccines have anything to do with it? Probably. Yep, that's what my first thought is. I don't but take shots. I'm so old, there's nothing left to vaccinate me for. Yeah. <laughs> I do shots. I don't take shots. You are a shot. A shot. Of yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, shot of sunshine. Uh, shot of 151 and prune juice. Anyway, hey. this is going on, and it's weird because it's, it's affecting, mm. it's not weird, but it's affecting mostly children. Mm. Uh, I don't think anyone's died yet. But, um, well, Rockefeller not... medicine knocks them off about a thousand a day. That's anyway, good money in that. apparently, AFM they, they call it a mystery illness, but they're they say it's AFM. So, why they're saying it's a mystery, I don't know. But it says it's a rare ser but serious condition that affects the nervous system. Specifically, it attacks the area of the spinal cord called gray matter, which causes the body's muscles and reflexes to weaken. Uh, it starts with flu-like symptoms. It's not a good thing, whatever it is. Oops, I got to see. Is someone talking to me? Yeah, AFM. It, they're calling it AFM, but then they, the headline says it's a mystery, so I don't know why they would use that wording, but... It's longer to say an AM, so... They're saying, well... It, they're saying they don't know, they aren't, they aren't sure what's causing it. I'm saying I bet it's vaccines. I don't know anybody that's got any of this, so I don't know. I have nothing to say. Okay. They're saying it's like polio, though, because of the par paralysis aspect of it. Yeah, they said really pulls a lot of weight where I'm at. Right, yeah, no, I, I know, but it's like... Every every country in the world is all falling the fuck apart except for the one I'm sitting in, apparently, because <laughs> I'm the only one that's ever, like, cool about whatever's going on. 
so I don't know. If you got new problems, see you got new problems. Thirty one states, baby. That's a lot of states. Yeah. What does that really mean? I don't I don't know. I don't it's know. It's just more mumbo bumbo jumbo. It's from mainstream the media. media articles, so I can't really you, you, it's daily mail. It, you know, I'd have to look at other articles on it, better better sources. Hey, I lived in England when it was still English, so hmm. I don't know. The world's just gone freaking insane. And I've had the luxury of sitting still on a real small place for a long time watching the insanity instead of being in it. And wow, what a mess. Hey, yeah, somebody's I, knocking I on the door. I don't participate in it. I It's a crock. Black Friday's a freaking crock. I didn't even read about it. I saw a bunch of people asking about any good links, you know, of those yeah. shoppers. That that is such boring. I think that was Vinny popping back in. Das I me. think I think that shopping crap is insane. Celebrity well, insane. Well, and I talked about it on a Freaker's Ball. We showed a video of these people at Walmart going after these TVs, and it was. Nuts, and they're they're jostling these electronics around. You know, these are electronics because they're TVs, and they're dropping the boxes on the floor, and they're jostling them around. I'm like, dude, you're gonna get it home, and it's gonna be busted. <laughs> it's like you guys are insane. You're 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 totally insane. That's why I didn't even go. I didn't shop at all that day. I'm like, screw it. You know. I don't know. They don't celebrate Thanksgiving here, so <laughs> right <laughs> again, yeah. I miss all the good stuff. It's like the start of the holiday season, the shopping season. It's crazy. <laughs> I just I'm glad my kids are 18, so I don't have to really shop anymore for Christmas. Oh. Yeah, I saw that one, Graham. <laughs> I didn't watch the video yet, but that's not a smart move there. Hmm. Um. <laughs> standing on a couch on top of an SUV to hold it down while it's in transit is not a good move. Let's just put that out there right now. It's no more dangerous than surfing. <laughs> no, it's way more dangerous than surfing. In shark infested water that it's, people throw it's shit more in. more dangerous than that. Oh, sissy. I think. You don't know how to have any fun. You got old yeah, or something. I, I like to have wow. fun, but smart fun, not stupid. You, car, <laughs> car surfing, oh, wow, I think. I, in, no, it's bad. I encourage it's people. From... I encourage Could more people to go out and couch surf. Could you hear it when I push play? I don't know, Vinny. I was <laughs> promoting couch surfing, and you're yeah, interrupting it. I, Thank you. I, I was looking at that link right there, and I hit the button, and it yeah. started real loud. I don't know where it came from. Probably you. Well, let's try it again. Hold on. The experimental <laughs> show. Could you hear that? I don't know. No. Hey, you can't hear it? Listen I don't just know a minute. What you Hold did. on. That is Vinny. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. Hold on. Listen. Okay. Could you hear that? No. no. Really? Huh. No. What are what are we supposed to be hearing? Uh I was uh I pushed that. The play button on the uh, the guy surfing there on the couch. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it didn't. I heard it real loud out of my uh, uh, computer speakers, but it didn't play through. Hmm. Apparently not. Yeah. Well, there it is. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Rob, we're in we're in a perfect world. This no, is how the this is how the world actually works. No, uh, I don't know if there is such a thing, but this what we're doing right now. This is the perfect representation of how society fucking works. It doesn't. <laughs> it's off time. It's uh, all mumbled. It's jibber jabbery, and nobody knows what the fuck's going on or why it's going on. It's just going on. <laughs> it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just a thing. <laughs> and and. What I guess I I learned how to do is have the make the best of whatever it is at the moment. There you go. No more dangerous than surfing over concrete at sixty miles per hour. I don't really not strap to a freaking surfboard at those speeds. Water goes to nah. Water's hard, man. 
I, I was a diver and a swimmer for my younger days. You should have respect for hard water, <laughs> I'm telling you. That shit will hurt you. But that's a whole nother story. It's a thing called friction, but when some some kinds of physical um, sources don't bring a friction, they just bring a splat. <laughs> Depends, I suppose, on the density and the speed and all that, all at the same moment. But boy, water can uh, water can do some harm. Look at a flood, take down a building. Yeah. Yeah, because of all that fucking weight and speed and energy and all that shit. We are, we're water too. Don't forget that. Yeah. They might they might have us beat on paper and they might have ninety five percent of these idiots we live amongst bamboozled with this bullshit. But on the bright side <laughs> it's not their fault. Religion, education and modern day society will take most of us there where they're at. So we're just kinda entertaining ourselves and, you know, having a laugh at it. You sure as hell ain't going to change it. Grimner, have a look at that right there. Is that the same thing, that last link? And uh, <laughs> tell us tell us what a DSL uh, filter, the splitter, how all that operates. And we'll wait for you to catch up. All right. Back to you, Flash Roots. I have. Wow. I'm lost. Yeah. Oh, you go right ahead. Yeah. Man. I know. Precious. No, you, you've got the ring. You go ahead. You go to Mordor. I I'll be it. here in the I'll be here in the Hobbit in the Sh Hobbit Shire when you get back. Mordor's north, I think. Start now and just keep going until you get there. You'll you'll find it. Are you sure? Because it's awful Positive. cold out. They start their journey. Okay, yeah, so here. I'm looking for a story here. Why? Um. And it's just not. I'm not finding it, and it's. I should be finding it right away. So well, I'm gonna how, search. How about the ridiculous? Gonna, how about the ridiculousness of uh, the gun laws? Period. That we I, even have. That we even have a fucking idea in our head like a gun law now. I say hobgoblins is closer. Let me get good. I think I think they should just abolish the gun laws. That'll straighten everything out. You think? Shit, yeah. Should Most be. people are talking out their ass, Vincent. Please. There should be. How, how many people showed up down to um, Nevada when you were at that standoff? A couple hundred? Uh, well, it depends on 2014 or, or this last year. There, uh, I don't really have a good count. There was not a huge number of people, really, that came over, okay, that's over in the my long point. run. Okay, now, that's my point, over the long run. But yeah. you could have, all right, you can have a standoff with the government and two or 300 people might show up. Or you can sell Rolling Stones tickets and hit 9 million people oh, all at yeah. the same time. Oh, yeah, ain't that something? Because yeah. that's where the mind in the modern day is at. Yeah, it's a, it's a new normal. It's been uh, really molded and shaped and just a lot of love and care given to the uh, manipulation of our society to what we are today. You have uh, paid well, propagandists be, to thank for that. So, what, what would it be if it wasn't what it is today? What would it be? It would be a. If we, it's been a long time, you know, being worked it and reworked, and uh, and you know, somebody else taking control of the helm. But uh, it's the fallen nature of man and. Unfortunately, mankind's easy to man manipulate or easily manipulated. I should have said, "Thank you." Um, that's where we are. But in a in a perfect world, we'd be free. We'd have so we would not be have uh, all our labor stolen and taxes and all this other uh, use it up and and buy some more of the uh, on demand society and where we are. Uh, we'd have surplus and abundance and uh, the the world would, instead of trying to manipulate it, we worked with it. We uh, <laughs> yeah, augment exactly. it. Yeah, yeah, augment it. That doesn't mean uh, leave it alone because it falls to disorder. It means that we take an active part in benefiting, making better. Uh, 
not only the you know the world all the world around us but the uh the world that we are in that's around us well i make good use of the information i get from the people i've met through the electronic world so i would say that at least half of what i would say credit my comfort to would be the advice I've I've been freely given on the internet. The information was free. I didn't have to do anything to get the information. I have to pay a secret fee or a tax. Um, just had to ask people and and then just wait long enough because sometimes you're gonna get bullshit right back. To oh, you. most of the times that's what well, you get. Feedback. But, I've been around a long time. I know one. Uh, yeah, please. society's grinder. Remember? Exactly. Well, it's a yeah. numbers game. This okay, is so. uh, no time for rational things. Rational thing. That's right, Vinny. Remember? Ah, oh, I'm so proud of you, Vinny. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna not make you wear your dunce cap anymore. Uh, In I'll fact, wear. you could take it off now if you want to. Oh, uh, okay. But Who's quoting? It's keeping, it's keeping my head warm. Add quote, the whole aim of practical politics is to keep the populace alarmed, in parentheses, and hence clamorous to be led to safety by menacing it with an endless series of hobgoblins, all of them imaginary. Until, until you go to Waco and they fucking shoot you and kill you and burn your place to the ground. The biggest trick the ever the devil ever pulled off was convincing people he didn't exist. Now that's a good quote, but I don't I don't buy the duality thing so much. But I get your point. You know, I understand what you're saying. I'm not I'm not gonna disagree with you because based on a, a religious output, you know, look at something. But I should just to make the show fun. <laughs> Do what makes you happy. Well, I do, but I think all the religions, all of them, they're just big scams. They're, no. they're groups of people that are afraid to die that want to live forever. <laughs> that's, that's used a lot in manipulation of, uh, yeah. of religions. Yeah. That, the common yeah. link between all of them is, oh, they're going to die and go I, to heaven or something. I, like I heard somebody say, uh, God is on my side. We've heard that all throughout oh, history. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that, that's a, a presupposition and... and it should be more, are you on God's side? Because in a matter of death and wars and uh, pettiness, you know, there is no side to God, right? Well, you, you sum that up. But, but you know, out of the two of us, you're more the religion utter than I am. But I carry, I carry the label because of the nose and the other thing. Yeah, but can you play a, a trumpet? No. Yeah. You're no Jimmy Durante, buddy. No, lucky me. Not yet. But they do uh, medical. The little bit of truth that comes out of medical is all the horrid shit. Like the two parts of your body that never stop growing are your ears and your nose. <clears throat> Everything else at some point stops expanding growth. You know, there's uh, way, way, way back in the Greek days uh, uh, and before as we're really coming to uh, realization as a people, as civilizations, and we're coming out of a uh, some dark period be in before that. These uh, there, of course, were some other uh, empires and great nations and so forth that uh, existed. But really, basically, at the dawn of time, uh, man becomes aware. And I, I think that we saw uh, a lot of wisdom come out of that. But I think people probably there were some old people there. They had big, huge noses and ears and. Uh, and see some of that reflected in some art. So that just gives me a, a, just some ponderance there. Hey, what, I uh, got what we really you. think we really something. know. Yeah, but I got something for you to ponder. Uh, but my point was the big nose and the ears was supposed yeah, to be yeah, yeah. a symbol of uh, wisdom. So Yeah, but you can... I, got some, I got something for you to ponder. A petition is suicide. Did you Did you know that? I don't sign petitions. Well, did you know that a petition is suicide? I signed a couple just out of pity or whatever, but sympathy or you, whatever for their cause. But yeah, you realize what you're doing is you're violence. asking for, for for permission and yeah, you're telling somebody else that their decision about it is already whatever you're gonna do. Yeah, so you're conceding so, to that. Yeah, yeah, no that matter consensus. what they say. 
Exactly. But but this is please, but please listen to me. Listen to how he tells us about this very issue. But if you don't attach a couple hundred dollar bills to it, come on, nobody pays attention to you anymore. Just talking. You got to, you know, you got to grease the wheel a little bit. Keep my people happy. Wet it. Wet it. It's a uh, mojado. Yeah. L- so. Lube us a little bit. You know, no, we don't lube you as probably as much as we should. But hey, consider it a gift. <laughs> Thank you. The bank reaming you are taking is by your own doing. Ah. <laughs> The government has nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. No, no, no. So I was wondering, uh, Flash, uh, you, you got circumcised and that made you a Jew when you was uh, bar no, mitzvah? Did you get I, a bar got, mitzvah? No, no, no. I got a Jewish mom and the Jews, the Jewish religion, the moms uh, claim you, not the dads. Yeah, but you got to have a bar mitzvah and get circumcised. I don't No, No, I, I, I didn't have to go through all that i don't remember any of the the younger days uh, I'm so, 59 Vinny. Please. oh then you're not even you're, come on i you think you need you to have, i think you need to have your nose circumcised that now maybe okay. yeah or or i'll just get a tent and i'll rent it and use the summertime and rent it out to the tourists as a place to park their boats yeah see keep them out of the sun yeah profit off my exterior <laughs> hey let me try this mute button on the wire Let's see if it works. Three, two, one, mute. Yeah. Did you hear me after I muted? No. Yeah. Really? No. It yeah, worked. you're muted. I'll wow. be right. I'll be, I'll be. I'll be right back. I'm gonna mute up. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah, but you were supposed to have the opposite side of me on the petition thing, you dork. You go agree. Well, hold on. I'll be right back. Well, wow. I'll talk you about muted. a petition. No, I think it's working. Okay. Am I muted now? <sighs> Say something. Something. No, I heard that. <laughs> okay, wait. Now I'm going to mute and I'll be back. Okay. Quite confusing me, Flash. <laughs> okay. Did I make Vinny shit his pants again? Oh, I am so sorry. Please, Vinny, forgive me. I did not mean to do that. Wow. Poor Vinny. Anyway, so, yeah, petition. Yeah, it's insane. These people, you've given the opposition that whatever they want before you sign or write anything so you're you're not getting anywhere just begging just like me and start getting married with you know with the state so then all that kind of crap so that uh she she wouldn't have to live with an illegal alien because that would be kind of fucked up yeah (laughs) so so you know i had the decency about me to to keep up with my paperwork and play the game and all that kind of crap at that level but uh, I think those are the more important things that if you if you're gonna go against government, you're gonna lose. There's no way to beat them. Yeah, there's just too many uh, supporters of mother state. People don't understand the true nature of state. They get lied to their whole fucking right. life, like we did, and then they come out of it at the end, not understanding that the reason things are so bad is actually. Because of the things that you're voting for. Because they're not what you're told they are. Right. Or they'll have pork bills, whatever. You know, they add shit to a bill. One, this part of the bill is good for everybody. And other 90% is just goodies for these rich people to enjoy. And this is politics now. If they took the money out of politics, nobody would play. <laughs> so there's, it wouldn't be worth doing. You know, it, so the whole our whole life is all commerce driven, commerce based, and I think what me and Cirque believe anyway is is the core of the problem is commerce. How you define it, what you call it, free market socialism doesn't fucking matter. Any form of trade eventually brings what you're getting if it grows too big. That's the price you pay, so that you can have shit brought to you from foreign places that you'll never go to i pay them here i suppose i got some bananas today i don't think they grew them in denmark <laughs> yes we have no bananas today <laughs> <laughs> well i don't live in the tropics pal 
but I live in the 21st century and have the ability to eat a banana in November where I'm at when it's two degrees, <laughs> two, two below outside in Celsius. So it's about 30. Almost learned that Celsius stuff. I think somebody would like you. What are you telling me about minus 30 something or plus? No, I said above. Yeah. If it's above zero, just double the number and add, add 30 to it. So if that. one degree is cent, cent, uh, Celsius is um, 32 Fahrenheit, just double the one and add 30. And so on through the progression. Add, add 30? Yeah. Double it and add 30. Whatever the Whatever the number is. All so right, so wait a minute. It's... Hold on. If it was uh, 14 degrees, then uh, uh, so that would be 78 degrees, right? 58. 58. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's right. 58. 17? Yeah. That's no. 34. 64. 22. 14. 68. Hut! 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 No, you just double. It's 28 plus 30. It's 58. Okay, there you go. No, that's I'm pretty. Stumped. That's pretty. Pretty. I'm I'm hitting my pipe. I get loose with numbers when I start smoking. I'm not following the directions, my friend. Oh, we're not doing what we're told at the in a perfect world program tonight. Wonder why, Vinny? Could it be your fault? I say we we pound on Vinny like a drum. Don't, baby. That's right. It's all your fault. You're gonna pay the price for breaking my rule. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, right? I've said it to people in my lifetime because I was in charge. That's how I learned that I didn't want to be in fucking charge of nothing. Were you was large? by being put in a position where I was responsible for shit. I, I, I always fuck. have been my whole life. No, I don't like to be the responsible you know, party. You know, it started uh, responsibly, started really having self responsibility. Wait, say that louder. Yeah, self responsibility. That's where it really starts. You gotta have responsibility for yourself before you can have That's all there is, Vinny. Else. There there isn't anything else. All the rest of it's just bullshit. Just a distraction so you'll stay stupid. Look, Chloe's gonna listen to us later. She can't listen at work. Oh yeah. You got, you got, got a potty, potty mouth. mouth. Yeah. Oh, Dirty sorry. dog. Yeah, I know. What a drag, huh? I was what cussing at Grimner. Do? I was cussing, yeah. talking. Well, I wasn't cussing at Grimner. I, I yeah. used cussed words, but yeah, uh, yeah nobody else heard it so on the radio. Yeah. It's, anyway, big deal. Sometimes cuss words just explain a situation a little bit more broadly. Well, yeah, or just uh... colorful language. It's uh, it. It's just a way to keep certain kinds of people. Don't waste your time with me. I talk like this. You're not gonna like it. Don't worry about it. We'll cut through all that bullshit by saying fuck, and you'll turn it off right away. Yeah, I'd turn it off. Because whatever we're, you know, whatever the important shit that we do say, because every once in a while, like the shit we did over weed, <laughs> over the time. But, yeah, tonight was just uh, getting back together for a, a, a train wreck and seeing what happens. You're always wanting a train wreck. You have some great expectations for something. I don't understand. You're not even, probably haven't even read but two or three Charles Dickens books. I don't, I don't, I don't read much anymore, Mr. Charles Dickens books. Yeah, so. Well, I've got a life of my own that I lived. So spending time reading other people's work oh, is limited. You don't like books? Are you kidding? They're awesome. Well, yeah, if you got time to be interested in I got other interests that are way more appealing to me now. I often listen to two or three books. It's easy these days. Uh, you didn't say that, you dickhead. Because well, uh, I was doing my puzzle and listened to the Hitchhiker's Guide Audio the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five and a half hours of Douglas Adams. The yeah. start from the start to the beginning. You know, to the end. I've it been was... listening to Heinlein. <laughs> I thought you were talking about picking up a physical book. You well, that too. Yeah, I've got well, books. No, I haven't bothered. Well, I've got internet. That's right. Open up anything. It's the lazy man's world. It's still printed, you dummy. It's not all on audio, but some of it is. 
some of these movies too is like if there's a movie with a story to it you can just listen to it while you're doing something else you don't have to be absorbed physically watching it but most of it's crap <laughs> the old stuff's not crap but i saw the old stuff so now it's just which of my old stuff <laughs> do i want to look at again <laughs> okay see you later bye-bye <laughs> But, Mom, all the other guys are taking their Cobras. I had a Shelby. <laughs> Did you really? No, I, I had a friend oh, named Shelby. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. I was a, he I had was a, a Ford baby. Yeah, he had yeah, a I grandma. Was a, <laughs> I was a Ford baby, but my dad never had a Mustang. He wasn't a Ford guy. He didn't like Ford as much as you would expect him to. My first My car brother. was a 64 Impala. The year I was born, I was 12. 64 Impala. Big old tank. Put six dead bodies in the trunk. That wasn't that big. That's yeah. Throw, hey, man. Then I had a 65 cool. Bonneville convertible. That was a big one. Oh. 55, was it in there? Be, that's the size of the thing that... Uh, he drives in the Bad News Bears. Walter Matthos got that big Cadillac convertible. <laughs> All the kids in the in the back and his pool shit. <laughs> Crap everywhere. Kids everywhere. Yeah, that was back in the seventies though. Yeah. When before, before I was a kid then. Our our uh, elementary uh baseball or no, I'm sorry, let's see uh, yeah, we were the Bears in uh, junior high. You were but, the Bears. Yeah, we was already the Bears before the Bad News Bears comes upon. Football. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's what? really nice. It's really nice of what? you to tell me that. Now. Really? Did you play football? Yeah. No, I'm you too You played football. I no. bet you was football. Player. No, I I've commented about it on the shows. I'm a, I was a swimmer. Pinball wizard. Yeah, but that came after swimming. I did swimming uh, regular until I was twelve. Did you ever? Hold your head underwater or have somebody hold your head underwater until the bubbles quit coming up? What? No, that's stupid. What do you want to do shit like that for? <laughs> what kind of idiots do you associate with? Have you, have you, you never... been out smoking crack with Hansel again, you drug-addled hippie? <laughs> Come on, you can tell me. I I won't hurt you. Okay. No, I promise. Uh, yeah, I don't go in uh, water over my head. <laughs> You're afraid of the water? No. Jeez. I swim like a, a bowling ball. I sink. I go straight to the bottom like a duck. Like a duck? Yeah. If the Those ocean stuff. were whiskey and I were a duck. Yeah. Yeah. Then what? I'd swim to the bottom and never come up. Oh. No, I, w I forgot. I think I've heard that song like twice. It wasn't on my top ten list, Vinny. But hey. <laughs> look what Governor's saying. <laughs> Glad Moosey in here. Come on, girl, what you doing? Just listening. <laughs> well, say something. That way we can interrupt. No, that's you. all right. You guys have got it. <laughs> Come in here. Get on my side. Help, help me pick on Flash. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't going to talk about something, but <clears throat> let me see here. Do you, well, I got a question. Do, do girls up north where it gets real cold, do you have to get, like, insulated bras? No. Uh-uh. No. We just use, wear layers. So, like, two or three bras then or something? No, just, like, two or three shirts. <laughs> 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 that would be too bulky, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. We, I, I don't you know. know what to say now. <laughs> Give her a few drinks. Yeah. What? <laughs> Who's Rob talking about? No, okay, so I was going to talk about this. Oh, one. yeah, to get you talking. But, Come uh, on, girl. You got to call her up. The GM slashing jobs. GM is slashing jobs. GM. Yeah, that's slash for like good morning people. That GM. 
And, General uh, Motors, you. I boy. know, but who's going to know General Motors if you put GM these days? Come on. This I is, did. This I is did. the world of the meme it. of a cat. Don't you know? What happened? I saw it and I knew it was General Motors. Anyway, um, this is. It, it, so Trump got all pissed off because of this, right? Because, as usual, part of his campaign was he's going to bring jo more manufacturing jobs, right? Well, then this happens. He's all pissed <laughs> off. Well, it, it just goes to show you, he can say whatever he wants. He, they, they don't have control over these companies. I mean, in some ways they do, but there's nothing Trump can do about this. Nothing. So Don't 14, tell 14,700 jo jobs are being cut. So there you go. Let As me tell you. Usual, let me tell you something I found out so many years ago when they started uh, shutting down the manufacturing jobs here in America and boxing stuff up and yep. sh shipping it over. Well, they started out with, you know, hey, we got this little nice little zone down here on across the Mexican border. And then that was just a ruse. And then it went on down to the Panama Canal. Now it's to China and then returns to us by you know, container ship. And that of course went, goes back to uh, Nixon and you know, the, the red China and all that stuff and getting back into trade relations. So the way things work. Uh, did I get knocked out? I heard no, the bump. Good. Okay, good. The, the bump, I, I think this thing would drop us at some point in time, but it hadn't. Then we'd have to call back in. Yeah. Oh, but I actually did though. So. It's been pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. China. Yo. Anyway, so I, that that was just something that happened, and, and then I'm looking at, I'm trying to find the story. It's like buried already. It's like, oh, that went away fast. Yeah, just like uh, the American Dream. That's yeah. a little left left there. It's it's disappearing. There's the opportunity that used to exist by freedom you know, it's, freedom's been uh, licensed uh, uh, just about out of existence now well yeah if a fellow wanted to open up a plumbing business uh, I mean what do you got to what do you got to know to to be a plumber you can start out pretty cheap in something like that you need you what a hacksaw and maybe a plumb uh, a plumb line or a, a a level and a shovel and just build from there. You got to know that water flows downhill and don't bite your fingernails. <laughs> Thank you for that. In, that <laughs> in Wow. What do you call that? That was input or advice. It was more like when your fingers are full of shit, don't <laughs> chew on your fingernails. But in like short, you know, like shorthand. Mm -hmm. see. Yeah, you see how you can say thing. that without actually saying that. But it's way more fun saying it's, it. It's the way in I, the, said it. <laughs> I said the mind's eye. <laughs> interpretation, John. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about interpretation. There's mine, yeah. Yeah, well, hey, how come we're agreeing tonight? What are? Did somebody break you, Vinny? Uh, are you okay? I didn't know Have we were agreeing. Been... Did we agree on something? Yeah, twice already. I'm what? I don't, I don't. I just completely disagree with that statement. Oh, okay. Well, there, that's more like it, because in a perfect world, then we'd agree. But we're not in that perfect world. We're in this other heathen world where things ain't perfect. <laughs> well, it could be. <laughs> How could? Be? Well, if if I could run the rest of my life the way that I run my marriage. The world would run perfect. Plenty of duct tape. That's my advice. <laughs> that um, works. But how many ducks will it take to do the job? Well, I have uh, I have captured one duck, and I keep it as hostage in our ongoing uh, duck wars here <laughs> that, uh, that we play in the uh, in the chat room. Duck, yeah. Ducks are bad. I, I got to go find that one site. It was hilarious. It was an a anti-duck campaign. I got to anti play that. Anti-duck yeah. campaign. Yeah. Don't you have any real enemies? Yeah, well, hey, you got to have an enemy. And I think the, uh, the, the Duck Dynasty is indeed very dastardly. 
don't forget North Korea. Ah, he's just misunderstood. He's just a short fella. A lot of people, you understand, people don't know how to deal with short what? people. It's got nothing to do with that. You know, I mean, I, I didn't mean to say short people. I meant to say uh, uh, it's it's. What do you call it's, that? It look it's Altitude all the legalities. It's all the legalities. <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. But it's all about the legalities of these bullshit stories we got told about nuclear. Yeah. Yeah, that's what all this crap is based on. Lies and deception. Lies? And we gotta, yeah, and we got the public doesn't know their ass from their elbow, nor most of them don't care because they're trying to be binary or something. <laughs> you know the difference between shit and Shinola. Yep. Moosey, do you? What? The difference? What? No. The difference between shit and Shinola. I, I'll give you a hint. What? Like, shit and Shinola. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> One okay. you wipe off and the other I don't you wipe wanna know. on. I don't want to That's wanna... it. And it's 420 somewhere. She doesn't <laughs> want to know. Wow. Willingly staying in the dark about such a deep-rooted topic. Wow. Do you not want to I'm know? I'm scared now. You? Ah, she should be, yeah, she should write a book about this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit and Shinola. Fuck yeah. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> do it. Do it. Tell Moosey the difference. Why you'd wipe no, one off and why you'd wipe one off. I don't want to know. It's because no, one I, don't, is, I don't like this as a topic. One, one is not my favorite and subject. One is, I just, and one is Shinola. That's so, why. Shinola is shoe polish. Does that help? The, the yeah, answer that is in the sentence. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are some things that are defined by the question you ask to define them with. That's right. <laughs> Proper attire in how to polish it up. Starts down there where you're walking, right? Got to have yeah, good shoes. It all goes back to all that pretty word nonsense. Boots, pretty oh, boots. I don't like this picture. And, oh, I don't like that picture. And so I say, well, ba -da -da -da. that picture. Ba -da -da. Get a picture you like looking at then, because not liking something doesn't change it. You got walking boots? No, but it does. Well, I guess that would be your only option. But I, I, I'm not so fussy about shit like that because of it. I got to uh, open my little container here. Came from Colorado. Uh, I've had this for years. I already opened my container earlier. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm still container. Uh, I've got. I uh, I'll be going to my stash for much longer. For the... mm. it's just, oh, it is so pretty and smells so good. How do you like your open air prison? Do you like it r medium rare or well done? Absolutely. Tartar. Tartar. Oh. Open air prison tartar. That might define what we have now, if you think about it deep enough. That's right. Cannibals, it's pretty, pretty bloody. Pretty bloody. Zombies. All that stuff. All the good stuff that makes life exciting. Hmm. How do they do that? It's quite creative. I give them uh, an A-plus on creativity. Because I don't know how you get so many millions of people to act like total fucking idiots all at the same time. But this political thing, or the religious, or the educated thing, does a pretty good job. And as we all know, at this point in time in history, everything's been proven to be a bullshit story. Therefore, you don't really have much. <laughs> you know, much, there's nothing that's real. <laughs> how can, how can we? physically look at this shit and go wow <laughs> wow this is this is our joint effort this is the best of the best of the best are you fucking kidding me no something's not right and and how do i take all this to uh vinny vegan i don't know what that meant well we've got shinola it looks like it's exp Expanded into uh, luxury uh, luxury watches and premium leather goods, jewelry, bicycles, audio products, mm. and journals that are, and you can continue reading it, shinola.com. But no, I was thinking of this watch. I mean, uh, what was that movie, you know, with uh, uh, Vinny Vega? 
and uh, uh pulp fiction yeah that one right there how would you make that connection then from the watch to shinola so i type in shinola and i get luxury watches and first thing i think of is, <laughs> yeah it's bruce's dad's friend or brings him a lot <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's the way my mind works. <laughs> wow. Uh, Christopher Walk in Wonderland, yeah. Mr. Vinny. Wow. Your <laughs> mind goes to some strange places. Well, I was thinking you do Christopher Walken, right? Uh, I don't know what that means. I do you, you do a Christopher Walken voice. I don't know. I you're, guess I have. You're talking, but, you're talking to me all yeah. along here. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What about it? I don't. I just like his voice. Yeah, but you were talking all Christopher Walken. Yeah, I, that's how I went from uh, shit on your shoes to uh, Christopher Walken. These wow. boots are made for walking. Do you not see the logical progression of my thought here? I'm kind of afraid to see the logical progression of your thought. If you want to it all truth. makes perfect sense. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. I'm thinking, wait a minute. If this makes perfect sense, then I'm totally insane yeah. too. <laughs> so no, <laughs> this, this doesn't make perfect sense. Good try. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Next contestant on In a Perfect World. And, that was a good try. Though. And exhale. Okay. See what a little pot will do to your mind when you're talking on the radio program? You get a little marijuana in your head and you start talking about all kinds of crazy Crazy things. shit. That's right. Yeah. But you know what? One of my favorite of all times things that I learned on the internet is? Uh, I'm afraid to ask. You're afraid to ask? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think my favorite one is death by medicine. To this moment it surpasses the straw man and it took first place in my mind yep because if i hadn't found out about that and something were to go wrong i wouldn't have pursued all these natural remedies that work and it had got sucked back into that doctor shit fuck that's not a good thing mr vincent why are you telling me I don't know, because I was me? talking to you, oh, okay. moron. Who else hey, was you, I supposed you know who to tell Ty, this to? You know who Ty uh, Bollinger is? Um, I've heard the name, but I don't know uh, why. Uh, he's the, why. an incredible uh, series on uh, every aspect of all of this. Um, I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to bring that over to RLO and go search it up. I, I personally, I downloaded all the episodes, and I'm not sure if they're available... Uh, Oh, maybe that will be a project to bring over to the uh, RLO video uh, storage yeah. bin. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's uh, 11, 10, 11 uh, episodes. Everybody that's, uh, you know, the all the big names that are been out there in this uh, holistic health and the opposition to the pharmaceutical uh, powers that are and being uh, Pretty good, uh, pretty good series, and it covers everything. So I'll, I'll pull that up and find that, and I'll share it to RLO. That's uh, realliberty.org, uh, the uh, yeah. media site. You know, Mother State interferes with our internet here in a way that's both good and bad. So say that, say that you post a link, and I, I want to open up the link. Well, the government here won't let me open the link if that. Link is a company that sells your personal information off. Hmm. So I'll get this error message in the video. Not available in your country. And I had to find out why. Hey, wait a minute. Why am I being censored? Well, you're being censored financially is how you're being censored. Yeah, it comes from what? YouTube? What about BitChute? No, I, haven't, I haven't been not able to open a BitChute yet. Everything really? open and BitChute shoot opens, but you. Oh, so you're saying you're not having any problem at bit shoot? No, because okay. I go directly to bit shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The videos on YouTube when you copy it and send it somewhere else. Yeah, you're I not getting it. it from YouTube anymore, right? 
Well, they so then it's it it's goes through all their bands the, and filters and all that good stuff. Right, but, yeah. that's what I mean. Mother yeah. state here is mm-hmm. so you know they're so protective of their people. This is how intrusive they are, because that's how I see government intrusion for your own good. Blah blah blah. Instead of people just fucking being honest in their damn business, they gotta have a bunch of crooks fucking it up for everybody. That's nice. Well, it makes society what it is. Well, where would they be with society without that 10% running amok? They'd have nothing to do. Who'd entertain them? Who, you know, oh, excuse me. please. Are you going to run from the cops so somebody could watch it on YouTube that night to entertain the world? No. Other people do it, though. Yeah, I'm not. I wonder. I wonder uh, if that's their goal. I, you know, the, I'm gonna be on YouTube. I'm running from the law. No, uh, I. You know, if you you can probably expect to be shot and killed at some point in time after that, after you initiate that. I think the the smartest thing to do is not make no quick sudden moves and keep your hands in plain sight, and then you, then think- then I have a word in your mouth. Yeah. You know, I didn't know what what to say and how to respond. But the cops here aren't like that. They're different kind of cops. Well, unless you're doing something, I, I think maybe to send no them to FL. Hey, they they train our. Oh cops no, no 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 no. The, yeah, no, that would be terrible. I've got it. For my you. wife would my wife would frown on that very much, Vinny. Please. You know, me and, when me and Sarah were first together, you know, she's pro Palestine. I'm pro Palestine, but I'm not pro guns. Not, not really. You know what I mean? It, I'll, I'll make jokes about it. They're fucking useless. Anyway, she was all about arming Palestine, and I said, "Well, geez, isn't that just gonna solve the fucking problem? You know, that just makes it worse. What? Why don't you just disarm the people that have the problem going on? <laughs> Maybe that would work. This one instance in life where." These this certain group of people have just run amok and can do anything they fucking please, and the rest of us just nod our heads like a bunch of donkeys and go, "Okay, it's the Jews." Hey, so, uh, I'll jump in special here. Special people uh, for a special second. Special people. S- excuse me. Yeah, here's here is uh, uh, the truth about cancer. Uh, it's uh, Ty Bollinger and his wife Charlene. Uh, the quest for the cure. Or the quest for the cures is the, the the name of that series. I think I like I said it's seven or I mean eleven part series, and uh, I think I'll bring that to uh, as a project forbearance here. Uh, let's bring that out and uh, we'll put them over there on the real liberty dot org. Uh, pretty amazing series. So I'm going to make this uh, a project, and uh, uh, I'm coming back to radio pretty soon. I've, uh, still have a few more things here going and so it'll be called the uh, uh, radio writing series uh, uh, I'm just gonna let it jump in and bring it together and let it evolve and come in this idea that I've had on segmenting and uh, the subjects and, and bring them to forbearance where uh, better interaction you've got to bring stuff uh, kind of short a lot of times a lot of people ain't gonna sit and listen to a couple of idiots babble for couple of hours but if you can bring them down in a few minutes and uh, some of the more precise information you know within 20 minutes uh, 10 uh, minutes uh, and you want to bring in bring in uh, uh, how incorporate that into there behind the woodshed and uh, certainly but uh, this uh, cancer in that industry is something that I've uh, in the past uh, had a lot of radio broadcasts that I've done with uh, a lot of different people and uh, was producer for Jay Cynthia Brooks and uh, Ian Jacqueline uh, for I Cure Cancer, uh, Cancer Kickers, Jay Cynthia Brooks. So I think that would be an interesting topic also. But let's uh, let's start that out with that then, that project. Look forward to uh, bringing it forward. Bringing it forward. Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, aye. aye. Uh, you can, can you sing? Say, make it so, number one. I like to say, I, 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 you do it. We know. Do it, do no, it, do it. Tell me Come what on. to do. Come on. Come on. What do you think you are, some kind of uh, senator or uh, something? We're going to call you Senator Vinny. Look what, he runs around bossing other people around, telling them what to say. Look what, he's a bully. Look what, look what Grimner did. 
What did Grimner do? Bizarre. Barman. RLM. Students should be made to think like scientists. Be open-minded, curious, and especially to doubt. Dot pick dot Twitter dot com. How do you make students do that? Make them? Made? Uh, to be made? Made to be? Well, oddly enough, uh, most of the people on the reallibertymedia.com chat room, whom I speak with on a regular basis, electronically, play with the Twitter or play with the um, Facebook or both. And I really don't. I'm done. Fuck them. There you go. Use a but, fork. That's what I mean is people are going to support these monsters that are just fucking them over. Every time. And and you can't get them to stop. They're addic- the addiction to the society is huge. And it's so invisible. You know, because you got more good reasons to stay on Facebook than you have reasons to get off it. But the reasons... The bad ones outweigh the good ones in the end. But that's not going to go over popular with people. You know, but small sites like RLM, RLO, that's really where it's at. I don't know how you can actually talk to a thousand people on um, Facebook all at once any damn way. Oh, you know what? I feel, I was just looking at, uh, because... I'm going to be going back over, uh, you know what I've already written. So revise, revise, revise. So that's this uh, radio writing. I'm doing. But I was looking back at memories on Facebook and uh, uh, saw one that uh, a video of Brian Hyde of uh, who's next. And so a year, year ago today, I've, I filmed that for him. I was testing out my selfie stick, brand new uh, uh, little old cheapo thing that I was using out there. I was a lot of fun. This is a pretty Pretty great guy. Uh, in 2014, Clive and Bundy challenged the media to stand and witness and report. And I rose to that call alongside a lot of other independent men and women that were concerned for truth and justice. And, and Brian Hyde he is such a man. And that is uh, what I posted there on Facebook. Uh, don't do a lot of Facebook and then very little of Twitter anymore. Just fo- following along. You know, I've had this. I've, I've said what I've had to say. And so now let's uh, see if I can bring it together and say it in a more better way. Uh, so that's uh, that's what's up next with me coming up in the future here at Real Liberty Media. Okay, and all I'm saying, Vinny, is when you're trying to get that popular, after so many people, you can't communicate with so many people after a certain number. Then it's just people know they don't know you at all. Some people do. A lot of people out of that is it's personal uh, at a personal uh, okay. level. But that yeah, I've got. Let me see how many. Hold on, let me scroll to the top. How many people is on my uh, 2,143 uh, uh, friends and um, how many following, uh, uh, 279 following me? Right, uh, and that's what I mean. Those numbers are ridiculous. Yeah, right. After 500, you know, 500 is like twice as many as that you could realistically uh, I entertain three, a personal level. Yeah, Three times more. I think about 150 is a maximum. Sure, that's, or you that's know fun. somebody's first and last name, and they're not related to you. A hundred and fifty people—that's a lot of fucking people. You start needing a, a calculator that records names and phone numbers, so you can keep shit written down to refer to it. It there's no way you could just remember that many people. There's hundreds on here that I would um, call to have okay. a uh, personal relationship well, with at some point in time uh, in history. I'm jealous of you, mister. Yeah, you know, all, all the cha-cha in well, the world. I'm a big extrovert, you know. Hey, don't be bringing up your sexual perversions on the In a Perfect World program, you weirdo. Don't be screwy. Well, you're the one saying it. Stop, stop talking all dirty, you dirty potty mouth guy. <laughs> extrovert. <laughs> Yeah, you're from Arkansas. What the fuck do you know about extrovert? <laughs> Have you ever dyed your hair purple and set your nuts on fire in front of the White House? <laughs> Somebody did when, that. When hey, do that, that, Nancy. I think people have 
fucking lit their self on fire in protest of war. <laughs> so, yeah, there's always, there's been some weird shit going on in the world in the name of protest. And, of course, we, you know, we're, where we were raised, where the way I was raised, I didn't see a lot of that. I didn't even find out about Tesla until I was 27, I think. 26 or 27. Probably 27. See, here's a, here's a, for instance, here's Joe Reno. I uh, pop it up on my Facebook feed. Know him personally, met and talked to him quite a bit out there in steps of the, in the, the sidewalk at the federal courthouse. Yeah. So let's see. When you were a big shot. Let's see what he has to say. He says, uh, what we know is one drop, but the truth we ignore is an ocean. That's pretty profound. I'm going to, I think I'll just take a copy of that and bring it over. Yeah. Go all quote happy on yeah, that. Yeah, let's too. quote that. Don't you think that that is a. Uh, Absolutely. I think so. I'm just doing a life. You know, I'm not trying to impress anybody. They don't care one way or the other. That's on them. I'm just telling people what I try to do. And it's not hard. It's just being um, being alive. Direct your thinking, direct your behavior, and there you go. And let's get blind drunk and, you know, throw people out of windows or something. But then that's not what I do. So... I'm just going to have a boring old guy life over here in Denmark with little circles and the dog and the cat <laughs> and the house and all the stuff that goes with it because it's all connected. You know, It's like watching Dirk Gently. Could you hear the ding, the dong, the uh, tone when that no. just made a signal or a notification? No. Okay. I no ding dong. I didn't know if that here. fed through. I wonder if anybody said this. I was comparing it to Dirk Gently. Oh, boy, you just killed my story. Go ahead. I'm done. Tell me I more. Don't, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, I have to listen to it and hear no, it. You tell, Moose, you tell Moose all about it. No. Right, Moose? No. Oh, did she leave us? I'm here. There you are. See? Aha! I think she's <laughs> tape her back to the chair, Vinny. Yeah. I thought we had her taped down. She's not got away. <laughs> you, she's hitting a button to unmute with her oh, nose. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> boy, these these get your you know hostage handbooks. Some of the advice is really bad. <laughs> You're really bad, Mister. Yeah, but now I take my hostages in groups when I do a hostage takeover. Top that, Bucko. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't know if I can. I'm speechless. We are all, at one time, yeah, the three loudest weird. people on the RLM don't have anything to say. Well, then I'll say something. Say it. All right. <clears throat> Irrelevant papers from dead people. Hey, you took that Run, out. Yeah, I I listened to this woman. What's her name? Uh, Chris, Chris Ann Hall. Ann Hall. Yeah. yeah, and uh, goes back a few years too, so it's not like it's brand new. But the point the points she made about the points she makes are they're worth watching the video to see what they are because just repeating it is argument. It's argument time because I truly believe that the history that we're told <clears throat> is a portion and maybe another <clears throat> version sometimes of what really happened but chris ann is a friend of uh, a friend of mine tom and and other people that are involved uh, myself i've never had uh, other than just uh, conversations through twitter uh, uh, any interaction with her beyond that but uh, she has a lot of great points uh pr pretty knowledgeable in that and the, this idea of the uh the um the 14th amendment and the 13th amendment and how, you know, everything transitioned to uh, corporate, uh, the corporatism of, of governance and so on. She's, uh, the constitution. Um, but, but then what we're really up against is what's been piled all up on top of that, wrapped it up. Right. So, um, all that means nothing when you're dealing with against the government. I, I tell you just as my witness, what I've seen people do yeah. to, to fight yeah. back, they, uh, they get killed or they get put away in a prison for the rest of their lives. So yeah, 
Better be yeah. careful. You better get behind the woodshed and find out how to address that uh, um, these occupiers and that which uh, is against us and uh, how to be able to have that proper response uh, and not go. And as you were saying earlier, not go into there with their partition, right? Uh, and give them their claim, but uh, go and say, where's your claim? Yeah, that's not what a petition is. A petition is just begging them to change their mind when they're not gonna. Yeah. If they were gonna change their mind, you wouldn't be in a writing a petition in the first place. You got what you voted for. This is what people refuse to fucking look at. It's the most horrible story there is to tell, is that your politicians are being held hostage by the Jews. <clears throat> so it's all this religious shit. This freedom that we're given is what they use to fuck us all equally. Because if you believe in an invisible man at any level of reality, then you're prone to be on one side or another. It's what I mean by that, Vinny. Not picking on people that believe in a God or not. It's the organization and the, I'm in this particular religion and my God has a bigger dick than your God. Well, I've, uh, over my travels just uh, last, uh, what, I was on the road for about a year and a half, um, mm -hmm. I, I had the opportunity to interact with uh, some uh, faiths uh, that were other than mine, most especially the uh, uh, the Catholics uh, up at, and they're traditional Catholic, which uh, means that they are, they, they say the seat is empty in, in uh, Rome. The Pope uh, is the Antichrist, and they're against them. Uh, a very rich, interesting uh, history up on the Mount St. Michael uh, up above uh, Spokane. I got a chance to spend a lot of time up there meeting nuns and uh, the priest and uh, a couple of brothers there. Um, there's a lot of rules and guilt and all this stuff and all these tools of religion and stuff of course is ruled but also you you see the, the purity and in, in people and their determination and that their will to uh, uh which is defined as a muslim to uh you know seeking the, the will of god and to do that and do what is right so you know not god not being on your side but uh you, you seeking the path towards uh what is all right and right and, and good that is god so that infantile point there that you you know that nobody can obtain is uh, our nature not in this not in this world it's not a perfect world not in this nature this fallen nature of man that we live in this um a world that uh, you know cycles death and that's uh the result of the the system that we uh, are corrupted under and we embrace it with both arms no we don't Sure we do. Well, you better try to push away. It's a democracy. Well, I live in a kingdom. No, I live in a national, I guess, uh, national socialist here. And it's not It's not anything that I would consider intolerable. If it was, I wouldn't live here. But where I was at in la layers of um, government and intrusion were becoming intolerable. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I don't. Hey, hey, the doctor came to see me while I'm doing radio. There's a treat. It's my... The cat. Yeah, the cat. He's very isolated. He's not a lovey-dovey cat. I got the duck. I mean, once every couple of weeks, he wants to come and be a. He wants a something. Little. Oh yeah, but Cirque already fed him in the kitchen. He wants to take you up. Wants you to take him upstairs. No, no, actually, cats. Um, they do all that purring and shit for you that they're doing something they're trying to do something for you it's a learned language yeah by the domestic yeah. cat i've, I've uh, looked yeah. at that it's very interesting they and they continue to mimic their uh kittenness -ness. clawing the shit out of the furniture and yeah it's all right you know it's like it's not destroying it he just being a cat <laughs> it's, it's a cloth chair i the, think i'll Need. You're gonna lose any sleep over a cat tearing a sh tearing a chair. The need to need cover. For well, ah, incidental little stuff. What gets me upset is when he jumps on my puzzle table now, cause I went and hijacked his table that he likes to lay on. And so now he knows I don't like him on the table. Now he's sitting on the chair next to me. So that's just weird. See, as 
as I've you know spent more and more time with Zurich, I've gotten softer in my older years. And the even the animals like me. <laughs> but voters and status, not so much. Bankers, doctors, religious people, no. <clears throat> so the the people I associate with don't represent a religion or you know, if they got a particular uh, you know, stand in life <clears throat> they seem to live it instead of talk about it. I had a president of a bank buy my hat from me one time. What <laughs> cowboy hat? You whore. Hey, he wanted, hey, <laughs> he wanted a cowboy hat. It was uh, Chuck Wagon Dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just I just believe you because you, somebody would try to buy your hat. I you sold it to sell. him. I did. Yeah, because you're Vinny. Yeah. I got a good deal. I told you. I, well, said, I, well, I said it's going to cost you. <laughs> Just remember that picture of you and the that guy in the pointy hat. That little boy is going to go, Dad, who's the funny guy in the hat next to Vinny? Oh, Johnny, that's the Pope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that's how popular you're You're going to eventually become in the future. Oh, if I, like, uh, what is it? Your time cult travel. status. Yeah, cult status. Yeah, why not? It, Just make it a sci-fi. It could be a cult leader, too. Get your falling, get your falling of minions. I, I to do your dirty work. I gotta get one of those online uh, certificates or ordinance or being ordained or something like that. Mm. Become an ordained minister. Yeah, I need an ordinance to do that. Yeah, but and you need a certain number of followers. Oh, you'll sign up, up, right? Oh hell yeah! Why uh, not? Yeah, we'll jump Can you I... in. Yo, man. All right, we got us a gang. What's up? <laughs> who else is jumping in? Huh? <laughs> hey, Moosey, yo, what's up, girl? You gonna be our mall? Hey. All right, we got an angry mall. Give him something. <laughs> Give him something, girl. Tell him what for, huh? No, That's I right. gotta jump off here. So, uh, well, it's been real, guys. Uh oh. Thanks, thanks, Moosey. You were yeah, you were very you. quiet. See you later, Moose. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I can't. Oh, oh, jump off here maybe not. Then don't worry about it. Maybe We're not. There we go. Okay. okay. See ya. Get, bye bye. Okay. Hey, <laughs> let's uh let's get Moosey something for Christmas. Like what? Insulated bar uh bra will. We'll we'll get that oh, designed. Yeah. Yeah. We'll turn it into sure. a money making deal. We'll put her in charge of distribution. Yeah, I saw saw a TV show that they already did that. The Insulated bras already. No, nah, the guy makes makes one that it out of some kind of wonderful material, but the side effect is it gets hot, <laughs> mm. and eventually catches on fire. That see now we no, that's <laughs> that was that would be a problem. I can see how that would. Be. So you get get this woman all dressed up in her in her office job, and my tits are hot. <laughs> no, we're just gonna do like double. Line. <laughs> so, no, she's yelling in a business meeting. My tits are hot. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Because her bra's catching on fire. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty imbecilic way to put it, but it was still funny. <laughs> it's called the IT Crowd. So I don't know Netflix. Most of the what's on Netflix is it's either like that, it's just total junk, and you either you're amused by it or you're not, or it's murder, 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 kill, 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 kill. Dead, 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 dead. What have you been watching on uh, die, 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 on die. your uh, YouTube uh, movie selections? Oh, today it was like random killer diller films. But uh, the other day I was doing an uh, audio book. I was listening to The Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah? Yeah, well, I, I, I should probably do a little bit more looking and find a source of audio be, besides YouTube. But I'm... I'm so used to it. I use it a lot. But there's other ways to acquire the things in life that are of the electronic nature. Very nice. So, yeah, well, I got wire working, so we we didn't use YouTube for this particular call. Yeah, that is really great. I, I'm very impressed with this. A couple of little uh, hiccups there I snorted through. <laughs> yeah. Figuring out this for some reason it doesn't mute uh, my mic here on my headset. Yeah, 
so. the blowjob was really that was enlightening. Yeah, Pe- people. See, I have tell me, Vinny blew everybody on the show. <laughs> in in a perfect world. Hey, here's uh, does it get any better? Here's Chris Ann Hall right here. This is the uh, link that you mm. shared. It's a uh, constitutional yep. role and duty of states and federal government. Uh, Grimner, yeah. if you would include that into the blog, if you'll drop that in there for reference there. So, but the sad thing about it to me is the end result is none of this stuff is actually real. It's all a shared illusion. Yeah. In this direction. Yeah, it's all made up and crap and garbage to top it off. And then all the side products like the the electricity and the food and the water because they controlled it. They they got no business in any of this shit. Well, let me Yet, tell you this. We are. If what? you walk into a mirror, it's going to smack you in the nose. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm just saying that's one example of an illusion that we hurt you. Let, illusions are real. Don't they, okay. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They have but great have power. To, right, but you have to want to participate you better to get a result. Learn to avoid to, getting run over by it. That's a oh. hard one. Yeah. That's a little more difficult. Hey, who's coming up on the uh, Real Liberty Media future? <clears throat> Grammy tomorrow at 6 in the, the Land of Oz. Okay. Miss Mary on the rocket chair. That's right. Uh, 6 uh, p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. on uh, East Coast time. And Ooh, East Coast time. back again uh, Friday, the same time. <sighs> so blast off in the rocket chair. Followed a couple Larry uh, hours later. Uh, I have a pause. We'll be a grimmer and a moose girl. That's right. With a lot of bubbles of the, the freakers ball. Oh, yeah. All. And then, then come on back at the very next day, a Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. No, 12 p.m. Eastern for the dork table. And Sundays, trivia right here. I listen to the blues with the Grimner from uh, noon to 3 Eastern time, followed by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. And come on and get some. Uh, that video right there, link right there, Grimner, that I just posted right above where you said put what in, Vinny. Uh, there. Yeah. Chris, Chris and Hall, Hall. Yeah. constitutional role and duty of state and federal government. Just sad when you come to the end of it, you find out that, wow, it's just we all believe it. Do you want to put that tag really on there or above what you had there? That, uh, Me that or papers? Me? Yeah, tag that uh, our, you know, title right above. Okay, go ahead. I don't know. You talk right all that there. nerdy. What you geeky. you know what you said the first time about uh, dead people in oh, papers. What did I say? Papers. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait 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 wait. I think I wrote it down somewhere. Let me tell you. Irrelevant papers from dead, dead people. people. There exactly. we go. Exactly. So all right. type it on the thing here. Yeah. So that's the title above the video, and then the video is in the uh, uh, the. Uh, the blog there. I'm typing. I'm copying and pasting to you. I'll see if we win. <laughs> Boom. Go. Uh, I'm not racing anybody. Our beach is too I'm late. Type. Yay. Uh, you're the winner. I chipped you. <laughs> you're the winner. Winner, winner. Oh, look. Uh, nope. Mine's disqualified for lack of capitalization. We have a new winner declared. Flash somebody. Woo. <laughs> whoop, whoop. I wasn't competing, Vinny. I, was I don't doing care. It. You, you are. You won. But, yeah, but yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's hard to do a radio show about stuff we agree on. Oy, I was trying to get something going with something we all didn't agree oh, on. Oh, you like the, the idea fully. of this petition business, huh? Oh, yeah, especially the petition because it's so obvious when you when you look at it outside of the box. You go, wow, you're you're begging the guy that owns the horse to let you ride it. And he says no. But you're going to beg him, and he's going to go, well, if you give me $20, I'll let you do it. So all of a sudden, what you got is what you asked for. <laughs> Whoops. You just spit in a sputter. Maybe I misspelled that spitition. I don't know. Spitition. I don't even know what that means. Well, we've come to the end of the road for the 
in a perfect world program, my friend. <clears throat> prepare for the invasion from the south and prepare for the other invasion from all the other ways. Thank you. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>